Hi, I'm Steve with ProGrass, and today I want to talk a little bit about conifers. Uh, to me, conifers are pretty much the backbone to a landscape, and it's really important to incorporate some of these plants in your property when you're planning a new landscape or changing your old landscape. Uh, some of the characteristics of, of uh, conifers would be that they tend to have needles, uh, and they're also evergreen. So some plants are evergreen, but they don't have needles. Uh, conifers typically do have a needle or a scale, as you see in these plants, and they typically are evergreen all year round. So the biggest benefit to them is that you'll have color and texture in your, in your yard uh, throughout the year versus a deciduous plant which would drop its leaves during the fall and be bare stems all winter. Conifers will look the same in the winter as they do in the middle of the summer. So it'll make your landscape look really nice and colorful throughout the year. Uh, one of, the, one of the situations to always be aware of though is that even a conifer which is evergreen does drop its needles at some point. Uh, they do have a tendency to drop needles typically in the, in the spring and fall during growing periods. So you will have some debris to clean up, but for the most part they're pretty clean plants. Uh, but they do typically hold their needles in scales for about two to three years. Uh, one of the other benefits to conifers is that after they become established in a landscape, they tend to be pretty drought tolerant. Uh, after about two to three years of watering and careful care in your yard, the root system will be enough to have enough sustainability to keep that plant going with minimal watering. They'll still need some water, but a lot less than you might expect. And in fact, sometimes by keeping the plant on the dry side, you'll actually have more intense color, uh, brighter colors, and the plant will actually be happier because they do tend to like to get a little drier in the summer. So that, that'll save you a little bit on your water bill and keep the plants looking better. Uh, different types of conifers is a big family. It's a huge group of, of plants, but some of the more common ones would be pines, spruces, cedars, uh, fir, and cypress. Uh, pines are your typical conifer that people will think of the most. They tend to have longer needles. They come in groups of two to five needles typically. Uh, they can range from an inch long up to four or five inches long. Uh, but pines are really nice plants. Uh, they tend to get a little larger. They're, they're going to be a little bit bigger uh, plant versus a small shrub. But there are some dwarf strains as well, such as mugo pine. Uh, spruces uh, also have needles. They tend to be a little bit sharper, uh, you know, a little bit of a sharper needle. Uh, they have great color though. They grow a little slower. Uh, they're really nice colors. There's blues, there's yellows. Very colorful, nice, dense, compact plants. Again, some are large, some are small. So you'll, you have to be careful about which one you choose. But if you talk to a, a, a knowledgeable person, you'll definitely get some good information. Uh, cedars are also a nice plant, uh, especially here in the Northwest. Cedars tend to grow in more moist climates, whereas the others tend to be more on the drier side. But the cedars will love wetter conditions. Uh, they look a little bit more native to our environment here in the Northwest. And again, there's a pretty good assortment of them. Uh, cedars do tend to be on the larger side, though. There aren't as many small dwarf strains of cedar. Uh, and then, of course, there's the fir. Uh, true firs and, no, and Douglas firs like we have here in the Northwest. Uh, again, most of them are larger trees, uh, good screening, but there are a few smaller varieties available as well. Uh, and then probably the last group that's common is cypress. And cypress all, all has a huge range of plant material size, color. Um, they tend to be more on the scale type needle evergreen. They don't have uh, sharp tips. They're very soft and, and gentle plants. So cypress are really nice plants to include in your landscape, again, tending to like a little bit on the moist side. So the firs, cypress, cedars uh, tend to like a little bit more moisture. The pines and the spruces tend to like it a little bit more on the dry side. And uh, one of the most re biggest reasons is why you would incorporate conifers, like I mentioned before, is, is the fact that they tend to be drought tolerant, but also um, they have year-long color, and that's why I really like them. They, they will give you a lot of texture and color in the landscape, again as the backbone of the property and one of the biggest benefits that I really enjoy is the cones. Uh, a lot of conifers, especially the pines, produce really interesting cones and they will be there all year round. They, they tend to produce a cone in the spring, grows through the summer, but they tend to hang on throughout the year and could be on the tree for several years. So that really makes the plant look really nice as well. So uh, in your planning of your landscape, be sure to think of conifers. Um, and, and make sure they're incorporated into your planting plan. Make sure you talk to someone knowledgeable about them and, and get out in the nursery and take a look at them. Uh, by no means are the ones that I mentioned are the only types out there. There's a lot of plants available, so make sure you go out and look for yourself. 
If you have any questions about conifers in your, in your landscape, be sure to give us a call at ProGrass. Our number is 1-800-PROGRASS. You can also check us on ProGrass.com on our website and uh, make sure you let us know if you have any interests or questions and we can have a designer come out and take a look at your property with you. Thanks.